Okay guys, so we're in the middle of the series on the beginning of American literature, American literature from 1400 to 1800. So far we've explored the Native Americans and the early explorers and the Puritans. So now we're going to move on to the Age of Reason. This is from 1700 to 1800 approximately. Um, this is really a reaction to, Purit uh, to Puritanism. So essentially all the difficulties that came with Puritanism and all the, the rules and the the fear-based things, everything was really just a response to that. So Age of Reason writers are going to kind of go the exact opposite direction. So uh, as for historically, you have Americans established cities at this point, um, and life is no longer as hard as it was. Like we talked about, the Puritan life kind of sucked. It wasn't fun, and it was difficult, and things were not available to them that they were used to. It was a rough road for them. Um, as for the Age of Reason writers, by the time they come along, we have become a little bit more established and, and life is much easier for them than it was the Puritans. Um, at this point, most European Americans are Christian Protestants who consider uh, that they're in an age of reason. What is reason? Reason is the idea of thinking. It's logic. It's facts. It's not going to be things based on emotion or based on religion or fear. It's going to be based more on science. Um, they did have some similarities to the Puritans. They believed wholeheartedly in education, um, and they continued that idea. They pushed the schools, and schools continued on because of the good things that the Puritans set up. And they believed very much in the study of self-improvement. Ben Franklin, in particular, was very much about improving himself. Every day he would track his virtues um, and see how he did in the day. So he would say, I want to be frugal. I want to watch my money. And every day he would judge himself and say, how did I do today? It's uh, about self-reflection and making yourself better. Uh, they also were similar to Puritans in that they believed in moderation. And again, they believed that writing was important, though their writing had very different purposes. The Puritans were about transforming and um, empowering God, and in this case, it wasn't that way at all. Um, their beliefs were uh, that through reason or logical thinking that humans can become better people and create um, good societies through this reason they can work together and that they don't need old traditions and rules and with government you see that happen so often well this is the way we've done it we'll continue to do it that way uh, the new the new country and the ability to start from scratch was very important to them and they didn't believe that they had to do what was done before because frankly it didn't work and that's why they left so they were really excited about being able to start from scratch um, they were interested in their life on earth and not in heaven, very much the opposite of the Puritans. Uh, the Puritans cared only about their destination after their life, and the Age of Reason writers cared about only their life on earth. They believed that humans can end ignorance, superstition, and evil. They very much disagreed with the idea of superstition. Uh, superstition is if you are superstitious, you believe maybe if you break a mirror, you will get seven years bad luck. Um, the Puritans had very superstitious beliefs, and that again is how the Salem witch trials were allowed to occur because of superstitions about witches. And if someone had a birthmark, it means that the devil had come and sucked on their skin and things like that. So they believed this is ignorant and we're going to stop it. They also believed, and this is very important, that you need freedom in order to progress and create a better society. Without that freedom, you're unable to continue forward. So that means they believe strongly in freedom of speech, a freedom from monarchy, kings and queens, that was a no-no, and the freedom to question and experiment and say, hey, let's try something, and if it doesn't work, that's okay. Um, and say, hey, maybe this isn't working, and I'm questioning this. So a very important time for thinkers. Uh, the literature itself focused on nonfiction. It was science-based, had ethics, ethics is right and wrong, and government. Um, and this spirit really supported the American Revolutionary War, which we're looking at from about 1775 to 1783. These ideas all worked together, and the literature really reflects the Revolutionary War. So that's what we're going to be looking at when we look at our Age of Reason writings. And we're going to be looking at a lot of historical documents, including the Declaration of Independence. We're going to be looking at some pieces by Thomas Paine, uh, who I like to call T-Paine. And we're going to be looking at some speeches uh, by Patrick Henry and investigating how people use uh, emotional versus logical appeals to uh, get their audience on their side. And it's a really important time in history, obviously, it's the birth of our nation, so it's going to be something we look at 
closely. And I look forward to reading all those pieces with you. Thanks, guys.